Hi everyone, welcome to day 14 of my 100 days challenge. Today we'll be solving another SQL question asked in Amazon data analyst interview to one of my followers. So let's see the question. So the question says you are given an Amazon sales table with the column customer ID, purchase date and amount. Write a SQL query to find the customer IDs who made purchases consecutively in every month up to the current month, July 2024 of this year. So we have the table which is customer ID, purchase date and amount. So let's start writing query to solve this question. So here you can see I have already created the table and inserted this data. Now let me show you the data. Now you can see we have the data which is customer ID, purchase date and amount. So what we need to find out, we need to find out all the customers IDs of customer who has purchased in every month starting from January of 2024 till current month which is July of 2024. So that is what we need to find out. And at the end, we need to return the customer ID. So this is the question. Let me just copy the question here. And uh, let's read it again to understand it better. Now we have already seen the table, which is customer ID. We have, we have purchase date and we have amount. So it says write a SQL query to find the customer IDs who have made purchases consecutively in every month up to the current month, which is July 2024 of this year. So from this data, we need to find out the customer who has purchased in every month at least one order. So let's start writing query to solve this question. So I'm going to first select the customer ID which I need here. Customer ID and next I will be selecting purchase date for now. Purchase date from Amazon sales table, right? So these are the two column for now I need. Let me now go ahead and do a group by, by this customer's ID and purchase date, but I will extract the month from this purchase date. So I'm going to use a date trunk functions here. So I'm going to say date underscore T R U N C trunk and I will extract month month from this purchase date and I'm going to save it as month. So this function is going to extract from this purchase date extract the starting day of the month so for example in Jan 15 Jan so from this purchase is going to extract first Jan so for every purchase that this customer has done in Jan so I will have a combination of this purchase date which is going to be first Jan now if the customer has done a second purchase which is in the 2nd of February so and another purchase in 4th of February using this functions I it will return the first day of the month okay so that is what it is going to do now let me show you before that let's see if we have any customer who has done two purchases in one month. Now this customer has done one purchase in January of 2024. This customer has done in Feb one purchase. This customer has done again in March one purchase, April. Now here you can see this customer has done two purchases. Okay, one purchase this customer has done on this one which is you can see 5th of March and the second purchase this customer has done again on 5th of March. So this customer has done two purchases on 5th of March, right? So let's see if there's any other similarity we have. Now let's go ahead and see what this function does. Okay. So let's go ahead and run this query to see. Now you can see I'm getting this customer's ID and in the month column, I am having the month, which is the starting of the day of the month for each purchase. Now here you see for this customer, one purchase in the month of Jan, second purchase in the month of February, third purchase in the month of again, I think March, fourth purchase in the April and again, one more purchase in the March. Now you can see all the purchases that this customer has done in March, they are having the same date, which is starting day of the month, right? With the timestamp, which is 00, right? So this is how this function is really, really useful. Now, let me just go ahead and do a group by now. If I just do a group by by this customer's ID and this month, I will have a unique customer's ID and the month combination. So now we have 37 records, which is total 37 sales we have. So I'm going to do a group by now because I want to only consider one customer's ID and one month combination. Now you can see this customer's ID one has two purchases. One is in March here and uh, you can see one more purchase in the March. So if I do a group by, by this customer's ID and this column, I will have for each combinations, I will have only one record. So each customer's ID and each month will consider only one. So I'm going to say group by, by this customer ID, just like this and group by, by this month. Okay. So let's see now earlier I was having 37 records. Now let's just run and see. Now you can see I'm having 33 records. So basically I have 33 unique combinations of customer's ID and month. So this is done. So let me go ahead and save this data in a CTE now. So let me go ahead and just say with monthly purchase because I've changed the date to monthly. So I'm going to say 
with monthly purchases and I'm going to save it as a CTE so I'm going to store in the CT using simple CT syntax which is called with and I'm I'm giving a name called monthly purchase and I'm storing this data that I got from this query into this monthly purchase CTE okay now I'm going to again write one more CTE now what I need I want to find out each customer's ID and how many month we have now if you see the customer's ID one um, if I just if you see customer ID one maybe maybe here you can see customer ID five we have one count two count like total two purchase now similarly we have one more and one more so total four purchase we have for the customer ID five and uh, we want to see for one like one or two purchase and maybe we have more purchase so now what I can do I can do a group by by this customer's ID from this table which is monthly purchase table and I can count the month like for each customer's ID how many month are there now see we are having each month only once right so now what I need I I will simply select the customer ID okay and I will be selecting simple count functions on the, this month which is going to be count functions on month now I'm getting all this data from this above CT which is called monthly purchase so let's that is I think fine now I will just go ahead and save this as a consecutive purchase monthly count okay monthly count CTE count okay as inside the brackets I'm going to put this query okay so this query is going to count each customer's ID and the total number of purchase they have done okay so I missed one thing here because we need the data only for 2024 right only for this year right so we may have informations where the customer has done purchase in 2023 or maybe other years as well I can show you so we have 2020 CE we have some records from the 2023 some records from 2022 so we can filter the data here before doing the group by we can filter the data to ensure that we only select the customer ID and the purchase month only for 2024 so I can use a where functions here where and I can say extract month from this purchase date okay not month year basically year from this purchase this equal 2024 so this extract function is going to extract the year from this purchase date and I'm just comparing with 2024 that's how I'm filtering the data only for 2024 now if you see earlier I was having on the 11th I was having 2022 and 2023 so now it will be gone so let me just show you and we are having 37 groups let's see how many group we can have now so now we have 31 group which all the data you can see they are only from 2024 because I have filtered the data for 2024 so this is fine so monthly count is done I have got the customer ID and uh, the count which is going to give me the count of the purchase they have done now I'm getting this information from the monthly purchase which is my above CTE and uh, I'll need to do a group by right because if in case I want to see each customers ID and the count of month where they have done some purchase so I'm going to do group by by which is called customer ID okay so that is how I will have each customers ID and the count of purchase they have done okay now I can just show you my result so I can just run a query call select everything from monthly count table or CTE now I'm just going to say select everything from this monthly count CTE which is the above CTE and I can just run this query to show you the result now I can see we have each customers ID which is customers ID 1 2 3 4 5 and their number of purchase they have done so this customer has done 7 purchase 5 purchase 5 purchase 7 purchase 7 purchase so the customer who has done 7 purchase so that what we want to consider the reason why because we want to select those customer who has done purchase in every month now current month if you see so we are in the July so the, we want to select those customer who has done purchase in Jan, Feb, March, April, May, June, July so that's going to be 7 right so here I can use a having conditions I can go ahead and say having and I can say this count of purchase equals I can put 7 because I want to select the customers who has done 7 purchase in last 7 month each month at least 1 purchase and total 7 purchase in the last 7 month so I can say that here I can use a, I can simply say 7 or I can just use extract functions again extract month from current date so this current date is going to give us the today date and from today date I am extracting the month so obviously that's going to be 7 so let me just show you outside if I just write here see it's going to return oops it's going to return the current month okay 
so that's going to be seven now you can see we are getting seven okay so this is what i'm doing here so this function is going to select those customer who has done seven purchases in last seven month each month one purchase now let me go ahead and show you this result again so let's just go ahead and see how many customers we have so now we have customers id one customers id four and customers id five they have done seven purchase you can see here one purchase in every month so this is how we have got the result now i only need the distinct customers id so i'm going to say distinct customer id and if i just run this query I will be getting my result which is all the customer id who has done one purchase in every month which is jan to july in this year so that is how we can solve this type of interview question thank you so much for watching the video till the end and if you really like this type of content and if you enjoy solving this type of problem do subscribe to my roof channel and if in case you want to download this data set just click the link in the video descriptions download the data set from my github and you can solve the same question now if you have any other approach to solve this question you can write down your approach in the comment box have a good one see you tomorrow take care bye bye